is it bad blood that went into this one ahead of time that maybe they're seeking some revenge or they just don't like them? But the other thing that always hits me is, are they worried about playoff positioning, right? Are they worried about, do you need enough points in case there's a tiebreaker that comes into play later? I think Cooks will be back. Yeah. And Gilmore's probably out. We just got him high motor. I may or may not replay this. I probably will. <laughs> <sighs> And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21 points. Goskowski now after the, the touchdown. He'll send this one away. I'll try to see if this is the Patriots set, which means I'm coming to play Patriots. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25 yard line. And let's shift now to talking about the Patriots defense. They'll be hoping to come up with that same type of effort they had last time when they forced the punt that led to a touchdown. And that type of effort just continues to carry over. Because once you get it done once, you feel like you can do it again and again. It's no guarantee, but you got to like the confidence that they take back out into the field. Now will they keep that confidence? Time to find out. And they're going to get this one all the way out across the 45. Give them 22 on that one. And it's first down, Buffalo. Watkins alone on the left side. One thing I can say pretty safely, that route is not called if you don't have a guy who can throw the ball and put some mustard on it. Because if you're going to lollipop it in the middle of the field, bad things usually happen. It takes a strong arm guy who can rifle it in there, and they were able to test they can put it down there. Ten yards still left on second down. From the gun, it's Taylor. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. Give him nine on the play, and that'll bring up a third and one. He had time, was able to survey the field and find a soft spot in that zone coverage. And that's where it gets difficult for a defender, Brandon. You go to your spots on the field that you have to cover, and when the offense finds an area that you're not in, that's where they throw the football. And he's got his man. It's the tight end play. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. Second down here after the incomplete pass. Taylor will throw again. Over the middle and caught by the tight end play. Four yards on the completion and it sets up a third down. Got to get to the 26 for a first. This is third down. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. On third down, Taylor. Right side complete. That's Woods. And he's able to pick up the first down here before he goes down at the 26. Did you see that route the way that I did? I that thought was, he was trying to get yeah, deep. Yeah, that first. wasn't the first option. No, not, no, it came off of that guy, the deep guy, and came underneath on the drag, completed it very well. They'll throw on first down with Taylor. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. Call it a gain of five, and it'll make it a second down. Completed pass play. Now let's see if they go back to the air or to the ground. Play action, it's Taylor.
Give him three on the play, and that's going to lead to a third down. Play number nine set to come here on the drive on third and two. screen it's complete all right work and he'll take it into the end zone for a buffalo touchdown mike gillisley an 18-yard touchdown grab and the bills get a bit closer so on third and medium they dial up the pass and it works to hit the end zone and it's really not a surprise to me. That's a throwing down in the NFL because of how tough it is to run the football. But what offenses like to do is still show run formations to make them respect it and throw out of those. In this case, they took a nice shot in the end zone and made it pay off. And every time you get you to midfield is a great return. One first down, you're almost in field goal position. So the Patriots coming out now. And that last drive, so effective in the passing game, resulting in the touchdown. Maybe not many people were focused on the trenches. There was good protection there. Excellent protection. So now defensively, you've almost got to get down to those starters blocks like you're a sprinter. Get lower than those guys on offense and find a way to roar through them or around them to get into the face of the pass. Easier said than done, though. Way easier said than done. But they've got to try something because right now they're just cutting them to shreds. And able to break one tackle but then quickly brought down a nice little game. It's funny, throughout the time that we've been together when we talk with running backs about the ability to catch the ball, their eyes light up yeah, when they talk about open field sure. and have a one-on-one -on -one matchups, don't they? Yeah, they do, and that's the reason why. What we just saw, shedding those tackles, and that's what they're used to doing. It is, and it starts at the beginning of the play. One-on-one -on -one matchup with someone trying to cover them, but they also like those one-on-ones downfield after the catch when they're running with the ball. They think they're going to win those two. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. Give him 14 yards that time and a fresh set of downs. So the run moves the chains, and here we go on first down. Well, how many times do we say in this game that speed kills, and it does it in so many different ways? In this case, you get a back who's quick and shifty. They make moves, make people miss but also gets to and through a hole before he can close down. That's some of the benefits of that speed, not just out running people in the secondary, that led to a really nice game. And defensively, they just don't seem to have much of an answer for this passing game. Not at all. Look at the confidence that's exhibited here. With that type of a lead, clock on their side. Instead of running it, they start throwing it, trying to pick up first downs and keeping the football. Offense comes to the line now, first and ten. Going on first down is Brady. Over the middle, it's complete. And eventually brought down, but it's near the five at the six. It's a really nice 15 yard pickup, and now it's first and goal. Well, he flew past 200, 300, and 400 yards. Now he's over 450 yards passing on the day. So what you're saying is oxygen for everyone catching the ball and trying to defend? Yeah, especially those guys trying to defend right there. No doubt. Eh? They've got to be a confused group because they haven't been able to defend him very well at all. And I think he just wants to keep firing. When you have that kind of a day, you're just locked in. Just keep calling those pass balls. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. It's a gain of a couple, and it'll be second in goal. The fourth quarter here, they've got the lead. They want to keep it on the ground. That's what they're doing. Smart football. Keep the clock grinding. Keep it going. But you got to figure now, they're going to see more people stacked up in the line of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out.
A drive that time of six plays, and it ends with a New England touchdown. Which is right. Yeah. Is it the depth chart? You don't have a cornerback left. That's right. Oh. Cornerback. Not a cornerback. Not a cornerback. That one's injured. So you have none left. Right. He's the top one. Name one. I can't. Oh. Logan Ryan. Oh. And that's Butler. And that's Justin Coleman. Yeah. And Cyrus Jones. Oh. McCordy's free safety. Yep. He is. But he's playing free safety. He's playing corner. <laughs> Goskowski now after the touchdown. He'll send this one away. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The New England defense gearing up to take the field. They've had a couple passing touchdowns against them in this game, and that last drive, they really got picked apart. They've got to figure out how to tighten things up because no matter what they've done, Whatever adjustments they've made, offense has been a step ahead of them. So they've got to figure it out. Usually, a sack of the quarterback would help change the moment. Maybe bring some pressure. I think maybe a little bit of pressure would help them break it. Lots of screen pass. That's complete. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. Should be over. 